the careers of these stars were ruined in a matter of seconds on live television. The most notable public individuals who had their careers destroyed by a contentious statement or live television appearance will be included on this list, even if they later made a comeback. So, keep watching. Number 10 Ashley Simpson. The error was likely the biggest ever made on live television, and Simpson was definitely to blame. She unintentionally exposed that she was lip-syncing when, performing, on SNL, in 2004 when the vocals for, Pieces of Me, started playing instead of those from, Autobiography. She awkwardly danced off stage because she didn't know what to do, and she subsequently accused the band of playing the wrong music. Number 9 Millie Vanilli. The 1989 album, Girl You Know It's True, by the R&B group Millie Vanilli, debuted at number 1 and was awarded a 6X Platinum certification. Additionally, they released three number one songs and five straight top five singles in the U.S. On July 21, 1989, a major hitch materialized when a live performance for MTV encountered a technical issue. When the song started skipping, it became clear that the vocalist, Rob Pilatus, was lip-syncing. The validity of the partnership was questioned as a result, but it wasn't until their album was published in America that singer Charles Shaw acknowledged that Pilatus and Fab Morvan were responsible for his compositions. Number 8 Kathy Lee Gifford. Despite this incident, Gifford continued to host, today, until 2019. This meant that her career as a television host wasn't destroyed, but it did significantly damage her reputation, humiliating her in front of everyone. Martin Short, a comedian, visited Gifford's program in 2012 to promote Madagascar 3. Gifford complimented Short's union with Nancy Dolman during the interview, not realizing that Dolman had passed away from cancer nearly two years previously. Number 7 Charles Rocket Early in the 1980s, Charles Rocket's career on Saturday Night Live was just getting started. He was a key figure in the 1980-81 campaign and rose to fame thanks to his impressions, his recurring role as Phil Lively, and a regular feature dubbed The Rocket Report. Unfortunately, Rocket violated severe broadcast guidelines by using an F-bomb on the program on February 21, 1981. Number 6 Sinead O'Connor In the late 1980s and early 1990s, Sinead O'Connor's career was exploding. Her double platinum album, I Do Not Want What I Haven't Got, was released during that time, and her single, Nothing Compares To You, reached the top spot in 17 different countries. On October 3, 1992, when O'Connor appeared on SNL, everything fell apart. She tore a picture of Pope John Paul II while she was performing to protest the abuse of children in the Catholic Church, and she quickly gained a bad reputation. Number 5 Howard Dean Politics has gone a long way since 2004 when all it took was a single shout to end a career for good. Dean gave an emotional and unpresidential speech after finishing third in the Democratic primary in Iowa. He concluded by pumping his fist and yelling, yeah. His presidential campaign was virtually over after this address, which was widely parodied by the media and hosts of late-night talk shows. Number 4 Brian Williams. Before being elevated to lead anchor in 2004, Brian Williams worked as NBC Nightly News, weekend news anchor from 1993 to 1999. Up until 2015, when he came under scrutiny for fabricating an incident that happened to him during the Iraq War, he was in this role. Williams claims that an RPG destroyed the chopper he was traveling in. Williams was never a member of this group, according to many soldiers who came forward. Number 3 Paula Dean. Popular Southern cook Paula Dean got into trouble in 2013 after Lisa Jackson, a former employee, accused her of racial and sexual harassment. Jackson claimed that Dean frequently disparaged African Americans and even planned to have her brother's wedding in the plantation style, complete with black servants. Number 2 Will Smith. Nobody was very interested in the results of the 94th Academy Awards. The fact that Will Smith entered the stage nonchalantly before slapping Chris Rock in the face was all that mattered to them. Rock had made a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith, Smith's wife. Smith first chuckled before slapping Rock for the remark. Number 1 Mariah Carey. It's difficult to put an icon like Mariah Carey out of business, but her performance on Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve in 2016 came dangerously close. This performance was a colossal failure. Carey's earpiece started to malfunction like Iggy Azalea's, which made her lose time with the music. Carey didn't exactly manage it professionally, in contrast to Azalea. She simply went about the stage, blaming the lack of a sound check and passive aggressively offering justifications. That's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video.